Los Angeles Superior Court judge granting a preliminary injunction against Grace Community Church, prohibiting Pastor John MacArthur from holding indoor worship services. They've been doing this for weeks. So what now? Well, let's ask Pastor MacArthur and Trump 2020 senior legal advisor Jenna Ellis, who's working on the case as well. Welcome to you both. Thanks so much, Shannon. Thank you. All right, absent an intervention before Sunday, Pastor, what is your plan? Uh, we're going to have church on Sunday. Uh, there is absolutely no reason not to have church as far as safety goes. A statistic, one one hundredth of one percent of Californians have COVID. That's the number. And yet no one in the entire state of California is allowed to go inside a church. Doesn't make sense. Of course, we're under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he says have church, and we're going to have it. Okay, this is from the judge's order. He says county health co uh, the county health order does not discriminate on its face, limited religious worship um, only because it appeals to events and gatherings. Regardless of their purpose, the county health order allows worship to occur outdoors, virtually through the Internet, in any manner that's not indoors with a large gathering or people. Essentially, they're the judge uh, saying, Jenna, that it's not targeted at religion. We're not allowing bars and other places for people to gather in large groups. Uh, it's not just about targeting churches. How do you respond? Well, it certainly is targeting churches because we don't see these types of restrictions and enforcement against large protests and other political statements that the county uh, has actually lauded on their own Twitter and encouraged participation. And it's certainly also discriminatory enforcement uh, here. And uh, the ruling didn't really even consider a lot of the meritorious constitutional arguments that we claimed. But the bottom line here, Shannon, is that when uh, the government is allowed this type of broad and arbitrary, unlimited, indefinite power, then our rights become mere privileges. And for the judge to characterize this as simply as the county allowing these types of worship services, that's not for the county to decide. That's why our founders put free exercise of religion as a fundamentally constitutionally protected right. So we're going to stand up for Pastor John MacArthur and Grace Community Church because he's absolutely right. He gets to hold church. Okay, Jenna, so are you going to appeal this formally? Absolutely, and we're working on that, and our notice of appeal will be filed tomorrow. Okay, I want to ask you all about another story uh, that touches on issues of morality and things that uh, pastors are often asked to weigh in on, and this is this Netflix movie called Cuties. Now, when I saw the poster a few weeks ago, and there was a lot of um, outrage about it, these young girls, what they were going to be doing and dancing and that kind of thing, I've asked our group um, and our team not to show the video because I saw it today, and it was actually much worse than I actually thought it was going to be. I, I, you know, I don't even know what to say. These are supposed to be 11 year old girls. As a woman, it breaks my heart to see the way that they are being um, essentially sexualized and used here. Um, Pastor, where are we in this cultural moment where there's not a condemnation by other big Netflix names or people as, as associated with that particular service? Well, we're absolutely and exactly where we would expect to be if you had 30 years of trying to destroy morality, if you had 30 years of a sexual revolution, a homosexual revolution, and you thought you were gonna be able to stop it at some point and say, well, that's far enough, go no further, that's just not possible. The slide is greased and it's rapidly going downhill at a warp speed and to try to intervene at some point and say, that's enough, you'd have to start a long time ago. This is just the next small step in the disintegration of an entire nation that has no conscience. I, I wrote an article for the Daily Wire, um, is America losing its conscience, the vanishing conscience of America? We've lost that. We've lost any sense of the law of God in the heart. It's been overturned by a corrupt view of morality. We've lost the role of the conscience because we've been told to feel no shame. And when you have an, a, a dynamic uh, movement in the culture toward evil at all levels it just is not possible to stop well, it at some point where you say that's too far and regardless of where people feel they are on some of those hot button issues that have become big political and legal debates i would hope that uh this one dealing with young girls would be one that a lot of people would stand up and say just doesn't feel right um pastor jenna mm -hmm. good to have you both thanks that's why we need church <laughs> thanks Okay. Thank you so well, much. you guys will be there Sunday. Okay.